Victor Kovalenko. Uh, you are coaching the 470 and you are managing the Australian sailing team. I'm not managing, I'm head coaching. Head coaching. You had a very successful uh, Olympic Games in London. It's lots of medals. How are you starting on this new Olympic campaign? Um, slowly, we are not in rush. We have had a successful campaign before, and um, now it's like transition time. A lot of sailors, they have a little bit of rest. A lot of sailors, they start to sail big boats, because they need money for families. Unfortunately, sailing is not a sport like soccer or all other leading sports. You cannot make money. <laughs> you have to work somewhere. A lot of them they are selling big boats now, and some of them, some young guys, they have started already their racing. And of course, the first they got to sell for us is Palma. This is our great tradition that we are following. Here. What is the objective in this regatta for the, the new ones and also the, the other teams like uh, Matt Belcher and his new crew? Uh, just to build new team, it's all about their abilities to sail together. It's about communication, it's about uh, working well and synchronized. This is all about team building. This is not about results. The results, we don't need results here. There is place to learn. Uh, the this Olympic quadrennial, the first Olympic selection for the countries is one year earlier in Santander. So there is only now less than 18 months for the team to prepare for the big, uh, one of the biggest regatta. So is everything coming quickly and how do they prepare it for Santander? I think in most of our leading classes where we will be ready for Santander, in some new classes like NACRA and uh, uh, 49 FX, we have to spend a little bit of time, but most of our leading athletes, they will be, I believe, they will be ready for something else. And if you had three words to uh, qualify the, the regatta, the Sofia Mapro regatta, what would they be? Three words. This is passion, hard work, and success. This regatta was working with people around this regatta, the key people. Not only the people, but like all power, a lot of volunteers, a lot of organizers, a lot of managers, a lot of people who were passionate about this regatta. And they were working very, very hard for many years, for 40 years. And that's why they are such successful now. Uh, they changed regatta completely. This is one for, for our favorite and leading regattas in the world now. And regatta changed the city. It's amazing now how many changes all together done. We are very happy to be here. Thank you, Victor. Yeah, yeah, yeah.